Hey guys, what's up? This is Kales Bender here again for yet another video, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the previous episode, we finished our bitter's grounds, and we are here before the temple boss door. Let's just go ahead and use our big key, open it up, and see what's behind it. And by the way, this is one of my favorite bosses in the entire game. Not really because of the mechanics, but because it looks really badass. You still live. How astonishing. But this is truly a bittersweet reunion. For I fear this is the last time I will see you alive. Sorry that I didn't read anything. I wanted to make it kind of... Uh, you know... Climactic by reading it slow. But the thing... Went on by its own. I didn't press A or anything. What a troll. Willet Fossil, Stallard. <clears throat> this is a very, very easy boss. Now, first, I think he's going to get rid of the... Like, this little bridge that we have. Yeah, there we go. Um, and he's going to be spitting these things. Now, this first phase can be very easy, but at some point, it can be very, very tedious, which is, you know, uh, the, uh, the original thing to do is, like, have, like, uh, three hits per phase. And this is one of them. Um, so this first phase, you want to aim for the uh, for the spine. Uh, you know, as you can see, once you get close to it, and you know your little spinner, you are going to be able to. Oh, ah, oh, damn it! I missed it by just just a little bit. Damn it! And as you can see, these things are going to be annoying us uh, every time we try to you know do our little deeds. All right, so there are going to be these uh, soldier skeletons uh, hanging around, which is going to be extremely annoying. And made our way. There we go. Awesome. Uh, so only one more to go. But this one is going to be a little bit more tedious. Um, the reason for that is because if you get close to it, uh, if you get very, very close to the spine, there are going to be five skeleton warriors protecting it. You need to get rid of... Well, you don't exactly need to, but it is going to be a lot easier if you get rid of all of them. So you can have a very, very clear shot at the spine. And that is going to be uh, making the battle, uh, you know, go a little bit faster. Um, the little hand actually uh, stood in my way. And let's just go ahead and attempt to do this once again. Yeah, there we go. So as you... Oh, that was... I almost did it. I almost did it. Ah, that was... That was so bad of my part. I'm really sorry. Um, so if you attack... If you try to attack it from, uh, from the front... Uh, there are going to be even more uh, little warriors uh, protecting it. Right now, there are only... Come on, there's only one more to go. Okay, that's uh, that's not really too bad. So once this happens, let's just go ahead and do it one last time if I can actually do it. And yeah, we have a clear shot at it now. Boom, there we go. Alright, now this is only the first phase and this takes a little bit of time to do. So while we do this, I'm going to be talking about something else. Um... I just read my uh, one of the comments in the uh, things wrong with Mario Kart 8, and there was like a uh, there are like some some dudes like I I I don't really care. You guys know that I love trash talking, and I one thing that I've always said is that if I want people to kind of like me or my content. I much rather have people liking me for being an asshole. Well, not really like a complete asshole, but like for being who I am, as opposed to like someone else, like someone that is only there for like the screen and shit. Um, and there was just this one dude. Uh, I mean, there was a comment saying, "Oh yeah, your your skills are fucking trash," or like the quality's trash, your opinions are trash, or some bullshit like that. 
And I was like, oh, like your Mario Kart 8 skills. And there was another dude who was like, uh, you shouldn't judge by, uh, you know, a skill by a comment. And I'm like, I can do whatever, well, I know, I didn't say I can do whatever the fucking want, but... I don't really remember what I said, but, uh, you know, he replied again with something like very, like, not stupid. But something that I was like, okay, yeah, I'm not really gonna uh, argue with fucking dumbasses on my channel, so I, I just blocked him, and I, I think he made another fucking account, uh, and I just blocked it again, saying, see ya, nerd, and yeah, that's, um, that's just, that's just about it, I mean, I'm not really, you know, ashamed of, you know, being like this, I'd much rather be myself in my videos than just anything. Um, this is the next phase, this, uh, you're gonna need to do it, I believe, twice, I'm not really sure, but you're gonna be able to land a lot of hits in this, um, you know, up in this bitch, so let's just go ahead and do this. Oh, am I gonna be able to do it in one? Come on! No! Fuck! Oh, that was very, very close. I really, really thought I was going to be able to, you know, just kill him in, in, in one set of attacks. Uh, but no. Uh, once you, uh, go into this, uh, second time, uh, ass kicking, these little other spinners are going to be interrupting you, so you need to watch out. Once you make your way all the way- God damn it, this is exactly what happened in my practice file. Just by accident, I... Ah, damn it. Just by accident, I pressed A instead of B, so I didn't jump, so I, uh, I fell down. And damn it, that, that is so frustrating. Anyway, uh, so once you make your way to the very top, uh, these things are going to magically disappear. I'm not really sure why, uh, but come on, jeez. I'm not gonna make it, am I? This is so bad. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> So yeah, this is not uh, as bad, but uh, it, a as you can tell, it is a little bit annoying. Alright, here it is. Once you see him, uh, the little other spinners are going to magically disappear. I'm not really sure why. Uh, so let's just go ahead and do this. Only one more, and boom! Alright, awesome. So this last set of attacks is going to do it. Let's just go ahead and do the final blow. Boom! Awesome. That looks very creepy. I mean, I don't really imagine. I mean, if it if this is only the skull, I don't. I can't really imagine what the real creature would have like looked like. It would have been so scary, dude. But seven minutes into the video, we already defeated the temple boss, and the sword that Sand put into his forehead is going to turn into a heart container. All right, Link, let's go. We are close to the Mirror of Twilight. Just grab this thing and make our way to outside. I didn't really know what I was going to be saying. Ah, <laughs> really, really cool fight. All right, and here we are. I just quickly skipped a save, a saving screen, so that's really nothing to, uh, to worry about. But once we are here... We enter the mirror chamber. And the first thing that we're gonna be encountering is another one of these teleporting things, which is incredibly helpful later on. You guys will see why. This time is going to spit out five creatures, the most we have seen so far. And the common uh, strategy, well, uh, only one spin attack is going to do it, as well as only one jump attack. So you want to make sure to kill, uh, if you are Link, uh, you want to make sure to kill all of them, uh, not all of them. You want to make sure to kill, uh, three of them, so there are only two standing. And after that, uh, let me see, so I'm going to be killing this one, I guess it's okay. Uh, so after this, I'm going to be doing a quick, uh, spin attack, and that's going to be it. And after this, we have a very, very nice cutscene. This, I really like. So after this, let's just go ahead and use a spinner. And use a very obvious railing. And at the top, we're going to be encountering another one of those uh, spinner switches. I, that's how you want to call them. These things. So let's just press B very quick. And something very, very odd is going to happen. These pillars are going to rise. The statue is going to lower. 
and they're going to bring forth a rock. Yep, a rock. And let the very nice cutscene commence. A dark entity lurks in the twilight. It houses an evil power. You who are guided by fate. You who possess the crest of the goddesses. Hear us. At the command of the goddesses, we sages have guarded the mirror of twilight since ancient times. You seek it, but the mirror of twilight has been fragmented by mighty magic. The magic is a dark power that only he possesses. His name? Is Ganondorf. He was a leader of a band of thieves who evaded Hyrule in the hopes of establishing dominion over the sacred realm. He was known as a demon thief, an evil magic wielder, renowned for his ruthlessness. But he was blind. In all of his fury and might, he was blind to any danger, and thus was exposed, subdued, and brought to justice. Yet. <laughs> By some divine prank, he too had been blessed with the chosen power of the gods. His abiding hatred and lust for power turned into purest malice. Perhaps that evil power has been passed onto sand. You're just now figuring out where Sand got its power? It's far too late. 
Only the true leader of the Twi'li can utterly destroy the Mirror of Twilight. So Zant could merely break it into pieces. Once broken by my magic, the Mirror of Twilight became fragments, which even now lay hidden across the land of Hyrule. One is in the snowy mountain heights, one is in the nation grove, and one is in the heavens. You who have sent magic by the goddesses, you should be able to gather the three pieces. But you must be prepared, for a dangerous power resides in those fragments. This game only gets better and better. So that's it for right now. You guys have a great day. Take care of yourselves. And until the next episode. When we do just a little bit more of collectibles. Now that we have the spinner. And make our way to the next area. Which we're going to be starting off. With the snowy heights. I will see you then. So as you can see, I'm not really sure how this dude is called. Holy shit! All right, so once it's um, it slashes his sword, uh, he's going to be vulnerable to you know our wolf attack, and he's going to be visible. So you want to transform into into you know a human once again, and you want to equip, uh, equip your bow. You want to hit him once he is um, floating around. Then he's going to circle uh, like 